Hi guys, so I've uh, made this up very quickly and I had this and I wanted to try and use this. I'm not sure if it will work with this because it's metal and the magnets just stick there. But we'll try it. If it doesn't, then I'll just swap this for something else anyway. So I made this up and I've just put two magnets in there, south pole facing up this way. Hopefully that will work and this will go into there. It's not 100% uh, perfect but it should work and the other thing I've got is this coil now I want to use this coil whether it will work with this coil or not I'm not sure a pulse motor with a hole sensor but we'll see we'll experiment this coil is quite good so I'm going to use this coil uh, to, to put under there like that and hole sensor so I'm going to, just going to solder this whole sensor with a few wires, as you can see. So guys, I've connected this coil to the output of the transistor and the other end to the negative. And this is the sensor there. I've connected as as normal, like we did last week. And it was this drawing that we had last week, remember? And this is the, with the transistor at the moment. That's what's happening. So I'm just going to um, switch it on, should I say. Put the whole sensor in the right place. There you go guys, just getting the stents in the right place was a problem there. Okay. Basically it looks like the sensor works like a read switch. I've only got two magnets on this one. If I leave that there, it goes pretty fast after a while. I think it's going to fly off by the looks of it. So that's it, the pulse motor working with hole sensor and the coil is from, I think, I think the coil is from the uh, clock or the cat. can't remember where I got the coil from. It's going pretty fast there. I've got to watch where I put the sensor. Sensor pick up, pick up speed quickly. See how fast it's going. So yeah, that's um, that's using the one transistor there and the whole sensor like we had last week. So guys, I've just turned the voltage down from 6 volts to 3 volts and it's still working nicely and I think that's a better, for me I like that, um, it's not going like crazy. And that's on 3 volts. Here you go guys, so I've 
done the resetting of this now it is not using a transistor there's a transistor put away it is using just the coil and the whole sensor uh, it's working fine so I'm, I'm so glad it's working fine because what I'm going to do is put it together in a nice neat way this is actually on 3 volts you know and if I put it higher I think it will go pretty much faster but um, the reason I use that coil over there is to check if it will work without the transistor because as we saw last time the motor didn't work unless we put the transistor in and this is working fairly nicely I think it's quite good I will try it on 1.5 volts when I actually put it together but if not then we'll just keep it to 3 volts so guys I've reconnected it to this way and where this LED is, I just put that coil in there. I've got the 1K resistor in there. And that's it. Simple, simple circuit there. 